Next we're going to be doing a spinal, cervical spinal mobilization and, and the backboarding for uh, with using a, uh, another uh, backboard and a mo head immobilizer. This time the patient is found in a uh, supine position uh, and this time he's wearing a football helmet, you know, you know if he has a football pads on as well, uh, uh, which we won't do in this video. Uh, we're, we won't be using the, the cervical collar. Um, but, uh, but with this one, if I determine that I, that I need the cervical uh, spine board, then I'm going to call my two rescuers out. Uh, one's going to have a, um, the backboard with them and uh, another uh, piece of equipment. Um, you might also have some uh, face mask uh, removers um, with them. So I'm going to, uh, again, whatever symbol that you use, one, two, or three to call uh, EMS or call for the spine board. Uh, and then I'm going to have my position at the head, uh, so I'm kind of uh, cupping my, um, come on, come on out, uh, bring the backboard. Um, so my hands are going to be kind of, uh, and the webbing on my thumbs are going to be around the, the, the shoulders on, on this one. And um, again, I'm going to, I can be in a, um, as, as close as possible, kneeling down so that he's not moving. Um, if, if uh, um, we needed to, uh, to remove the face mask, I'm going to have you um, go ahead and uh, grab a couple of the face masks. From, they're uh, right over my shoulder. If we needed to um, uh, provide any air or get to their mouth, since we couldn't get to it through the, um, the face mask, uh, we would want to use some dip various types of... Uh, face mask removals, which I'll go over in another video, but I'll just show you real quickly uh, where, with one of them, at least you can cut um, the plastic pieces. Um, so just go ahead and just demonstrate like where you would. So just on, the, there's two on the top and then there's one on each of the sides. So those four would be cut and then you would be able to lift the face mask up um, straight. Okay, but as I said, We'll keep the face mask on for this one. Uh, so our two rescuers um, have the backboard here. And I'm going to ask you to uh, go ahead and take the head head pieces um, off the backboard, and that's Velcroed on the Ferno uh, yellow orange. And they're going to keep those close by, rescuer two, and. The next piece of equipment that we have, we're gonna um, uh, we're gonna go ahead go ahead and put the the, ha the handy device on a uh, little orange. As we crisscross the hands, um, we're gonna put those inside the the U's, and then the piece of rubber is gonna go around that, and then that's gonna help hold the hold the hands in there. You can also use a piece of string or, or uh, tape um, to keep them uh, together. Uh, next, you notice that rescuer two is at the shoulders, rescuer three is down at the, the knees and hips, and they're just gonna, they've already unbuckled the straps and gotten those out of the way. And they're putting the edge of the backboard uh, closest to the, the victim, and they also have it at about a 90 degree angle, or I'm sorry, at about a 45 degree angle. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to roll the victim um, away from the backboard. Okay, on the count of three, ready, one, two, three, maintaining alignment. They're going to slide the board underneath, and again on the count of three, we'll put them back down. Ready, one, two, three. Okay, and again, we're gonna, the victim's not centered on the backboard, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to grab the shoulders and the hips and we're gonna have to slide them down, okay, in unison while I hold the, stabilize the head. Okay, are you ready? Ready. Ready, one, two, three. Okay, and then on the count of three, we're gonna slide them back on the center of the board with his head on the um, yellow piece. Ready, one, two, three. 
Okay, once we're in this position, um, we're going to go ahead and um, um, put one of our head pieces on, head immobilizers. Yep, that's fine. Okay, and while he's doing that, I'm trying to maintain head stabilization until he's, he's ready to go. Okay, once those are in place, then we're going to go ahead and attach um, one strap across the, um, let's see, one strap across the chin, and if we need to adjust the, the Velcro on either side, we can do that. And then one will go across the forehead. Need more slack? Mm -hmm. Is that better? Or you need more? Uh, a little more? A little more. Good to go. Okay, then again, um, after the head is supported, then I know we can go ahead and uh, attach the buckles at the chest, which is going to go right across the, the chest. Get on a lot of these backboards, they lift off the ground by about an inch, so there is a... Okay, after we attach the one at the chest, the one at the hips, and if we need to move these or adjust these, we would want to, you know, uh, with this one, we may want to do it before we put the belt buckle on. Others have the clips on there, so you can, um, it's a lot quicker release. Okay, and before we move them, we want we want to check each um, check the tightness of, of each one of the each one of the sites to make sure it's secure. Is it good? Yeah, go. Okay, and then again with this one, um, ideally we would have four people: um, uh, two at the chest, two at the feet. And what we would want to do is lift as a unit, okay, on a count of three, one, two, three, and then we would walk out to the uh, EMS, and that's it.